Hey YouTube, welcome back. This is my gonna be my summary of my 720 booster pack opening. Um, kind of crazy. I opened them all in around like what 30 hours. I think it took me complete to completely do <clears throat> all the parts, including recharging my batteries and organizing stuff. But um, at the end of the day, or well, the next kind of late at night. Um, early morning of the next day, I decided that I'm no, there's no way that I was going to organize all the cards that day, put them away like I want to. So my hands were all sore, my mouth was like dry. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna wait a while. I'm not gonna do the same summary part on the same day. So it's been a few weeks. I've been slowly organizing everything, trying to get everything set. And this is my summary video. Hopefully, it'll be pretty cool for you guys. Um, I got everything set out. Been reading the comments so far. Um, I'm shooting this on Halloween weekend. Got some extra time. Um, so I'm shooting it up this weekend. Got everything organized. I've been reading some comments on what they want to see, what people want to see when I do my summary. So uh, yeah, that's kind of another reason why I kind of wanted to wait to do my summary. I wanted to engage everyone and see what everyone wanted. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you guys all my stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy. So we'll start off with one of the questions that people keep commenting on is where do I stick all these extra cards once I'm done? Well, I'll show you. They go into those kinds of boxes right there. That is actually only one of the boxes that I used um, for this part, or well, for the 720. As you can see, it's completely filled up. These are all my extras, by the way. So I do do what like Poke Collection does, I sell in bulk. If you need anything from any of the sets I, I um, did, let me know. Um, and those four are going to be all my rares and reverses. Like I've said a million times, I only collect reverses from the brand new black and white set that the Emerging Powers, that's it. So all the other reverses are for trade, um, along with all my extra rares and hollows. I make this real quick before I do anything else. Um, my Wix website on my channel page or in the description, I'm not sure if I'm going to put in the description. I do have all the cards that I need, so I will trade for cards that I need. For, you know, stuff that I have. I will make a trade video eventually. But I, all the hollow extras I have are for trade. But none of the ultra rares. So level X's, reprints, EX's are for trade. I collect those in bulk. Which I'm going to show eventually of an updated collection. So we're going to go ahead and get started with everything I have. And then we'll go from there to my, um, the extras that I pulled. Meaning hollows and EX's and stuff. So let's get started. <clears throat> Alright, so... Just go straight through them. Overall, I think I did really, really well. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite of the Diamond and Pearl sets, definitely. I love how the cards have the actual hollow all the way through. I really wish they would come back with that, but as you guys have seen, you guys have seen my Psycho Drive and Hail Blizzard. They're coming back with the EXs, which is really cool. I really enjoy these EX cards. So, I can't wait till they come out. I think they come out in uh, January or February. It's probably going to be around late January, early February. So, they're really cool sets if you haven't seen them. You should go watch my videos. And a lot of people are asking, probably by the time they'll see this, I've also seen people, they've been really wanting to know about my Team, uh, team Magma versus Team Aqua. By far, they best parts of my video so really excited for those nice two EX's and the rest of these obviously empty for now um, these is my top one of my top little binders I have several of them I think I have around eight or nine of them now I keep all of my hollows only my hollows in there I don't keep my extra hollows in there but I do keep my regular hollows and my EX's and whatnot in there so, very nice. I love these. It has this little ridge on the top that keeps the cards in. So, I really like that about this. Here is the one that I really love. I love this set. It is awesome. If you guys have never seen this set, you probably will fall in love as soon as you watch my parts. But, I mean, it's sort of like a mix between Team EX, Team Rocket Returns, and, you know, just old school Wizards of the Coast sets, which is awesome. Obviously, three legendary dogs or beasts, whatever you want to call them. People are always having a discussion on what to call them. But as you can also see, when I do do parts, I just go straight to the next set. 
That way I don't waste any of these pages because these binders sell for around 40 bucks a piece. And always, if you guys want to know where I get them, they're toploaderbinder.com. Very nice uh, place to buy premium quality binders for your top loaders. So if you guys have any amazing hollows that you need or EXs, um, this is probably one of the best places to store them because they are not going to get damaged in here. I mean, not only do I have them in soft sleeve, hard sleeve, now I got an extra layer of a, a really nice top loader binder. Also, to give a quick update, I will be opening up way more. Um, I'm going to try to stay away from, you know, trade videos. I'll do trade videos, but I really want to stick to my guns, do openings for you guys as much as possible whenever I have the chance. So, obviously, probably the best pull of all these, Charizard Star. But, to let you guys know what's going to be coming, um, Team Rocket Booster Box will be open. Um, we're going to try to get a Gym Heroes, maybe some more fossils. I do have a Skyridge that I will be opening as well. And obviously, uh, hopefully doing this, this new set that's coming out, I believe, early January. It's a, like a legend set. I don't remember what it's called, but it's in Japanese. It's really small, like 40 card set, but all the packs have hollows. So that should be pretty fun to open one of those. really love these Diagas. And I apologize for the glare, obviously. It's hard to get rid of these glare. I'll try this. Love that card. Can't wait to get the other one. Need the other Shaman. It's a landform one, obviously. I am missing quite a lot of cards. So be sure to check out my page. I'm really looking to try to complete all these. Obviously through trades. And then if not, you know what? I'll just buy more packs. Should be pretty fun. Really nice Venusaur. Oh, and if you also haven't seen it, guys, it looks like they're doing a reprint of base set. Like complete base set. Um... Set will actually come out next year sometime, so that's pretty cool. I've been seeing the Japanese cards. Little minor changes to some of the cards, but other than that, it looks like a full set that they probably will do. So, uh, if you guys haven't seen Poke Beach, that's usually where they post those kinds of uh, rumors or whatnot. So, I've seen the Venusaur card that they did in Japanese, which is, looks pretty cool. And I will obviously be happy to get rid of the black and whites. Because I really don't like the hollows. I love these types of hollows. Love those hollows. Oops, nothing on that one. See, I'm missing a lot of cards. <laughs> but overall, I think I did really well. Um, obviously not as many ultra rares in some of the ones. But uh, I'm not going to complain. I mean, for the prices that I paid for these packs, I did really well. I think on average they're around two dollars a pack, with a few of them being a little bit more. Um, but other than that, I mean, wasn't that wasn't that bad? But here are all my extras. I was able to fill up quite a bit of them. This one obviously not going to be portrayed. A lot of these Miss Magus. That's for sure. Jesus. Whoa. It's one bad thing about living with cats. Their hair gets everywhere. I got like three freaking man mana feasts. It's pretty crazy.
Yep, I got tons more. Absolutely insane amount. If you guys are wondering where my rocket set is, I actually put it aside for the time being because I'm going to be opening up more. But I will get to those. I didn't want to put them in the top loader binder just because I only had a few cards from that set. I didn't really pull as many hollows as I wanted to. Awesome cards. Disappointing that they put these cards in those, um, what do you call them? I guess they were like gift boxes, sort of. Made them relatively inexpensive to get. But, you know. Lucario. Awesome reprint Pikachu. Very nice. Here are more extra jungles. Obviously, I didn't do too well on my jungle ones, but that's okay. Can't always win all of them, right? So as always, everything in this video, not everything, but uh, you know what I mean. These last cards, obviously, can be for trade except for my ultra rares. Reprints and stuff. But definitely hit me up if you guys have any of the cards I need. We'll definitely trade. I only have a few criterias. Mint cards and uh, obviously can't send first. I love EX Dragon. It's just an awesome set. Oh, and here's one of, their, uh, one of the reprints I got. which Or not reprints, but secret rares. This is a really cool binet. I like out of the Crystal Guardians, a lot of the pictures, they all have the crystals in them. You can always see these little crystals all over the place, which is really cool. If you guys have ever noticed that, they really outdid themselves with that set. Then here, obviously, some gym heroes. I have not put these away yet. I will be getting more of these, so they're in here. And <laughs> unlucky, but... This is actually, I really like this card though, so I'm not, I'm not really mad or anything about getting multiple ones of these, because let's be honest, when you open up Wizards of the Coast packs, it's hard to be disappointed, unless the packs are like completely weighed. Um, this set is just, the sets are, are superb, they're just amazing. I really like them a lot. Alright, putting these away. Go straight to my uh, Team Rocket. Obviously, I did not do too well, but to be honest, I did pull one of the cards that I really wanted. So, I'll show you guys some of the rares that I got too from this set. As always, I sleeve, double sleeve all of my rares and actually my uncommons and comments, which I'll get to in a second, hopefully. We got Dark Slowbo and this awesome Dark Raichu secret rare. You can tell right down here too. Look at that. 83-82. Wicked card. So, those are all of my cards from the opening. Except for, obviously, you guessed it, the normal cards. Meaning uncommons, rares, whatnot. And, if you guys want to know where they are, go ahead and put them through. I have sleeved them all. Bam. So, this is what I do with my cards, if you guys are curious. They're double sleeved, in order. Every single one of them. They're double sleeved, if you want to see, I put them in upside down. Just to keep them extra mint, even the commons and uncommons. So here these are. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm running out of battery power, obviously. It's going on 15 minutes. But if you guys want to see each like complete set, I have tons of complete sets, but if you want to like me to do videos of those, uh, comment below. Make sure you subscribe, uh, comment, like the video, check out my openings if you haven't done it. Awesome parts. I'll be having more parts to come and make sure to uh, stick around because there's a lot of other cool things and some surprises I have for you guys. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.